Today, you're gonna learn about HTTP status code 304, what it is, why it's important, and what to do about it. I'm Tommy Griffith with clickminded.com. Let's get going. So before we dive into the HTTP status code 304, I wanna talk a little bit about HTTP protocol basics and some of the stuff that just makes up the internet in general. The internet is made up really of two core things, and that's clients and servers, right? So you have clients, web clients, that's your browser, right? Maybe it's Chrome, maybe it's Firefox, maybe it's Safari. If you're a godforsaken human being, maybe it's Internet Explorer. But if you're, <laughs> you're usually accessing the internet through one of these clients, right? Whenever you request a website, you're usually making a request from a web server. You make a request and the server responds. That's happening every single time you're clicking a link. You make this request using what we call the HTTP protocol. Okay, so protocols are really just standards that everyone on the internet has agreed to. It's no different than English or Spanish or Chinese. It's a language that we've all agreed to, right? So a client makes a request to the server, what happens next? Status codes let us know whether the request was a success, a failure, or something in between, right? That's what an HTTP status code is. Okay, so let's jump into each one of these next. So the 100 block, these are informational requests. Uh, the 200 block, those are successful requests. The 300 block are gonna be for redirects, redirection. 400 block will be for client errors and 500 block will be for server errors. The 300 block are for redirects, right? So you requested an address, but you were sent somewhere else. And there's a bunch of different types of redirects, right? A 301 redirect, a 302, a 304, 305, and 307. We're going to talk about all these a little bit more, but any status code on the 300 block will be a redirection uh, request. Okay, so HTTP status code 304, the not modified. So 304 not modified is returned whenever a file is unchanged since it was last accessed on the server, right? So browsers and bots, they make a request to the server and it includes this if modified since header, right? So if the file hasn't been modified since then, the request actually is not fulfilled and the cached version of the file is served instead. Now, this isn't used that much for smaller websites, but as your website grows and grows and grows, or if you're kind of on the enterprise side of things, this can be incredibly valuable. At Airbnb, we, were, we got to a uh, point in time where we were getting tens of millions of Googlebot requests a day, and 50% of our pages were unchanged from the day before. This is a huge crawl path optimization opportunity, right? 10 million requests a day, five million of those are pages that were the same yesterday, by telling Google that these are not modified, you free up some of that crawl budget to crawl an extra 5 million pages somewhere else per day, right? So in general, the smaller your website is, if you're kind of under 10,000 or under 100,000 pages, you're not gonna be utilizing this as much, but as you get over 100,000, a million, or you're in the tens of millions of pages, uh, serving a 304 not modified response can actually be incredibly beneficial for crawl path optimization. So. Um, this is really a kind of a heavy hitter sort of optimization. If you're on the smaller side of things with your website, then it's no issue at all. So that's it. That's HTTP status code 304. So I hope that was useful. If it was helpful and if you learned something today, go ahead and click subscribe down below for even more digital marketing tactics and tips from us. If you're on YouTube, I'd love a comment. What'd you think? Are you seeing a 304? Why are you using a 304? Would love to hear from you. I read every single comment. Finally, if you want to get our comprehensive HTTP status code guide, along with a tool to check all of your HTTP status codes, go ahead and click the link down below to clickminded.com for a free downloadable from us. Thanks a lot.